Hello, my dear students, and welcome to this week overview. During this week, we will be talking about lesson 9.1, which is electric force. During this week, we'll be talking about electric force, fields, and energy, pages 455 to 456. Electric force refers to the attraction or repulsion between charged particles, governed by Coulomb's law, which states that like charges repel each other and opposite charges attract. Electric fields are regions of space around charged particles or objects where electric forces are exerted on other charged particles. Electric fields are represented by vectors and describe the force per unit charge at any point in space. The energy associated with electric fields and charged particles is called electric potential energy. It is the energy stored in the configuration of charge due to their position relative to each other. The potential energy between two charges depends on their magnitudes and the distance between them. Additionally, the concept of electric potential measured in volts describes the electric potential energy per unit charge at a point in an electric field. Understanding these concepts is essential for explaining and predicting the behavior of electrically charged objects and systems. Then we will be moving on the charges and potential energy, pages 456-457. Electric fields describes the force experienced by charged particles, with positively charged particles creating fields that repel other positive charges and attract negative charges, and vice versa for negative charges. Charges themselves are fundamental properties of matter, existing as positive or negative entities that interact via electromagnetic force, either attracting or repelling each other, based on their charges. Potential energy refers to the stored energy within a system of charges due to their relative positions, where charges closer, closer together have lower potential energy than those further apart. This potential energy is determined by the distances between charges and their magnitudes, with closer charges having higher potential energy. These concepts together form the basis of understanding how electric charges interact and influence each other's behavior in electromagnetism. Then we have electric current and circuits. Electric current refers to the flow of electric charge through a conductor, such as a wire. It is measured in units of ampere and represents the rate of flow of charge past a given point in the circuit. Electric current is driven by a potential difference, typically provided by a voltage source such as a battery or power supply. In an electric circuit, current flows from the positive terminal of the voltage source through the conductive components such as wires, resistors, capacitors, and other devices, and back to the negative terminal of those source, forming a closed loop. Circuits can be designed in various configurations, including series and parallel arrangements, to achieve a specific function or perform desired tasks, such as powering electrical appliances, lightning, or electronic devices. Understanding electric current and circuits is crucial and important for designing, analyzing, and troubleshooting electrical systems in everyday applications and advanced technologies. We'll be talking about how can we create a parallel circuit and how can we do a series circuit as well. 